The Celestial Dragons claim that their ancestors created the world of One Piece. What do they mean by that? And how did they create the world? What kind of power you need to create something like One Piece World? In the latest chapter of One Piece, Vegapunk addressed to the whole world and claimed that the entire world is sinking. He knew people are going to doubt that, so he made a prediction. A prediction about earthquake. A global earthquake. Due to this earthquake, the sea level around the world rose by one meter. This is incredible. I mean, there are some machineries or devices that are so powerful that can shake the entire world and increase the sea level by a meter. What kind of fuel do you need to run these machineries? 800 years ago, 20 kingdoms created the world government, and of them, 19 royal families moved to Marijoa. Actually, the environment around Marijoa is quite inhospitable, but I don't know why the royal families moved there. It's obvious they had to take over whatever was in Marijoa. Before the celestial dragons moved to Marijoa, the Lunarians used to live there. Their physical abilities allowed them to live even in this inhospitable condition. Maybe the Lunarians used to call this place by a different name. And when the allied kingdom took over this place, they called it Marijoa. We've seen different tubes spread across the cryogenic room in the underground of Pangea Castle. I think these tubes carrying liquid nitrogen that is used to cool down these machineries or devices. When Don Flamingo was talking to Law, he said if he had the ability of Open Up Nomi, he could have taken control over the entire world. So there is a machine that can control the entire world and in order to operate it, one needs the eternal youth. So this machine can affect the time and whoever comes near it will lose his lifespan or vitality. Maybe the entire red line is artificial, I mean artificially created, and it is suppressing the entire globe. It was built to prevent the world from sinking. You know, the Fishman Island has Noah, the promised ship. This foreshadows there is going to be a massive deluge that is going to engulf the entire world. So this flood was supposed to happen, but somehow the world government prevented it and saved the world. Maybe that's why the celestial dragons say that their ancestors created this world. The ancient ancient weapon Pluton has the ability to destroy an island. Maybe it can destroy Red Line as well. Or perhaps it was created to destroy Red Line. I have a bold claim regarding this. I think Joy Boy and the scientist of his kingdom created this Red Line to prevent the world from sinking. It was just a stopgap measure. In our world, Red Line means caution or danger. Maybe this was signifying if Red Line gets destroyed, the world will sink. They planned to destroy Red Line using Pluton. They wanted Poseidon to calm down the sea creatures and follow certain orders. They wanted these creatures to move to a new sea. We've seen unusual structures like Impel Down, Aeneas Lobby, and Tharai Current. And let's not forget the mysterious structures of Florian Triangle. Maybe there are machineries in Florian Triangle that are responsible for this global earthquake. Anyways, I think the ancient kingdom is behind all this ginormous machinery and structure and that includes whatever in the underground of Pangea Castle and Cryogenic Chamber. The ancient kingdom actually saved the world, but 19 kingdoms stole their credit and spread the lies that they are the savior and creator of this world. They stole Joy Boy and his allies credit and hard work. We've seen artificial sky islands such as Balloon Terminal. Maybe the ancient kingdom created several sky islands to move the humans and the animals there so that they don't perish when they destroy destroy the red line and flood the world. Maybe Laftel is also a sky island, an artificial sky island. I think it is the portal to a brand new world. You know, Da Flamingo and Emu have some similarities. Da Flamingo forced the people of Dressrosa to live in a cage. People looked happy from the outside, but they didn't know how shady and despicable Da Flamingo was. They didn't know their lives were full of lies. They were in an inescapable cage. They didn't have any freedom. When when Luffy told Mihawk his goal, you know, Luffy always wanted to be the Pirate King. Mihawk said it's going to be even harder than Zoro's goal. Luffy wants to be the Pirate King because he thinks pirates are free and the King of the Pirates has the most freedom. But when he learns the true history of the world at Laftel, he would realize that everyone in the One Piece world is in a cage and the one is in control is Imusama. Well, it could be Imusama or the one who controls the machineries in the underground 
underground of Pangea Castle. So Luffy needs to destroy this case even if he has to flood the entire world. He would teach Princess Shirahoshi how to wield Poseidon's power and use it well. He would also use other ancient weapons power to break this case and free the entire world from Emu's control. Now here is another thing I want to mention. This giant male robot apologized to Joy Boy. It went to marry Joa for a purpose but it failed. I think it went to marry Joa to destroy the machineries that control the world. Even though Vegapunk created Mother Flame, he couldn't tap into the power source of this metal robot. Maybe Mother Flame can produce energy to control the machineries inside the cryogenic room. It is a flame that acts as their fuels. Anyways, do you think 19 Kingdoms stole Joy Boy and Ancient Kingdoms credit and claim that they created the world? Come down below.